Hi there, it's Janice Thompson from jazzledazzlecraft.co.uk. I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator and I work in Scotland. And I am missing my face-to-face -face classes that I usually have on Wednesdays and Thursdays. Missing all my pals, my stampy pals. But do you know what? During the say, COVID crisis and then I've gone online, I've actually connected with many more people who would quite like to start um, stamping. So um, I will be, even when I can do face-to-face -face classes, I am going to continue to do these online because I know there are so many of my other friends enjoying this, even ones who watch like you, Andrea, who watch and enjoy, but you haven't had a go yet yourself. So hopefully as this dangers decrease hopefully over the next few months and um, you'll be able to come over and have a go but anyway hi yeah i'm just getting my laptop so that i can see your comments while i'm crafting um it's a bit facebook have changed the format a bit and i'm struggling a wee bit here so this happened last week that I couldn't find let's find me live come on I want it let's refresh there's always teething problems I can never just get straight in get on right here we are here's me live let's get that right hi Andrea yeah we definitely need to. hi Sylvia in you come and let's get the volume off my laptop so you're not well worse it's me hearing myself echoing back but I don't want you to hear it either okay so have you got a cuppa Mine is just coming out the machine. I'm just going to grab it. Give me a second. Okay, cup out in hand. With the this cup was my granny's. Love it. My granny taught me how much nicer it is to drink out of bone china than clumpy clay. Um, I do admire lots of pottery things, but I do enjoy this fine china. It's very thin. You're just going to bed with a hot, your hot chocolates in you. <laughs> I know, Sylvia, this timing is a bit dodgy, but do you know what? If you can't see this right through, uh, it will be available on this, on my, here on Facebook forever and a day. It'll stay there. Um, but I will also upload it to YouTube later, later on today. I do have a live on YouTube much later today, so you might catch me on that when you get up in the morning. Anyhow, I am going to use this stamp set today and I'm going to start, kind of start from scratch in a way because I know that there are a lot of beginners watching this. Um, so I've just chosen one set, um, basically at random from, I have too many sets I have to admit, but um, I've taken this set because I have been using it recently in July's um, craft box kit and I, that goes out in the post to people that buy it um, was based around this so it's still kind of fresh in my head so and I have just posted all the kits off to the ladies who bought it so anyway back to today so what I've done is I've pulled out a selection of colours of card because this um, stamp set does also have a die set that goes with it, which I'm not going to use today. I just want to keep it simple. But the papers that go come in this uh, suite are divine. And they're lovely bright colours. 
So I thought we might incorporate a little bit of these into our crafting today. There's two kind of colourways in this set, which is good. So we've got the blues and greens, and then we've got our melon mambo with mango melody. Try saying that in a hurry. Melon mambo, mango melody. I get the two mixed up, so you often get me hear me saying, oh, I don't even know. <laughs> melon melody and mango mam mambo that's me mumbo jumbo so there's lots of other colors in here in this suite too lots of lovely papers that you can use as backgrounds i'm going to keep the stamping simple but i might incorporate some of these i'm thinking these big these just look like watercolor wash type backgrounds bringing in lots of color so what i've done is I've pulled out the papers, I've not cut anything because I'm going to do this from scratch and show you kind of what I do when I'm kind of designing I suppose. So I pick a stamp set, I look, am I going to use papers? Yes, I'm going to use papers. So then I want to have some card that coordinates with the papers. So the, those of you who are new to stamping up, this is what the biggest thing that made me sign up as a demonstrator with Stampin' Up is because I had been card making for a while and I buy from lots of other companies and lots of other lovely companies out there um, that do lots of beautiful stuff. However, I could never get things coordinated where my colours all match up. So you'll see in here, look, our colours match really coordinate whereas I would buy maybe buy a paper in one shop that and I thought that was beautiful and then another day I'd be in another shop and I'd say I need some card to go with that paper and I would see card and I'd think that'll go with my paper and when I got it home it didn't go it didn't match together so you find with stamping up that our card our ribbons our pens our papers the colors go right through everything so it coordinates beautifully and so it it makes it simple it takes the thinking out of it and how fantastic has it been for me to be working for an online company during covid where i could get everything delivered i haven't had to go out to shops i've not been do you know i could get all the things i'm used to using straight to my door and you can too you can order on my online shop on the top of jazzle dazzle um my business page there you'll see a shop now button if you hit that that will take you straight to my online shop where you can buy any of the products that I use and I demonstrate but I'm not going to blather on any more than that that's the end of sales talk for today <laughs> so I am maybe not going to use that I don't think right so I've already got a pile of card cut whisper white I always keep whisper white and very vanilla keep myself a pile of card a uh, card cut that could layer up onto a card so i'm going to put this lot aside do a bit of stamping and then show you how i think my way through it and look i haven't even cleared my desk properly before i started thinking all this out so let's just get a clean i was going to use the new in color grid paper but however because I'm using all these bright colours I think it was just too too fussy so let's get some ink on paper so I've already blocked up some of these lovely stamps this is a gorgeous set look because you've got this fl big flower stamp which and the stems are separate so you could make it in a bokeh or you can use these separate now the obvious thing to do would be to take a piece of card and stamp down like that and then use your stocks and you've got a bokeh and it's beautiful done that way and here's one that I have done like that for my kit this is one of my designs for my kit done using much more subdued colours than we're using today and that's so that is one way and I've used some blends to colour it but I'm not going to do that today I'm going to do something I'm going to not stamp with black I'm going to use the colours today. So I won't be doing colouring in, I don't think. But yeah, well, I don't think, but we'll see. And I'm going to use these other little simple flower stamps as well today. I've not decided how, 
but we'll make that up as we go along. But for the moment, I'm going to use this. Now, I realise that I am out of thank you cards. Hi, Rails, and you come. Oh, Susan didn't see you coming in as well. Thanks, and I do appreciate you ladies who this is not your time zone and you come in, you say hello and then you come back and you watch the replay and you leave me gorgeous comments and I really appreciate your support. Without this kind of interaction I think this would be a very lonely job. Anyway, let's go back to where I was. So I'm going to take my melon man because it's nice and bright and I'm ne we need some bright colours in our lives sometimes. I quite like to have this orientation landscape and I'm just going to pop my thank you this for this particular one in the middle. This is something I do quite often. I get a new stamp set I put a sentiment in the middle and then I take the big one of the bigger stamps and I stamp all round. Do it with this one colour. I think I've got ink on my stamp. And then I'm just going to take this stamp and go all the way round. Simples. The artist has already done all the work. I make no apologies for having shown you this uh, this same um, process with other stamp sets. Every single time it looks beautiful. I think I need to take the volume off something. I'm just trying. I'm not particularly going for overlap today, but if overlap happens, it won't matter. Look at the detail in this stamp. There is no need to detract from this. Just make sure you're not covering up your word. I got that in about there. So say a little bit of overlap wouldn't do any harm. But what I can what I can do here is because I've got these gorgeous little stamps with the individual flowers and they're just drawn the same way so I can just take and just fill in some of the wee gaps now they won't it won't really be noticed but it just takes the white off there do you see what I mean it's just if you feel that you don't want this bit here Maybe just a third generation there, then that just fills up that wee gap. And you can stamp off. Oh, don't do that! <laughs> Luckily, that didn't mark my card. Only happens to me. It won't happen to you. There you go. There's That's nice and simple. And then I just need to take, of course, I didn't get that out, my Melon Mambo card and my trimmer. I make a card base for this. This is, you know, as simple as it gets. And it's so relaxing. Do you see already? You probably hear in my voice, etc. I just, as a stamp, I relax. Hi, Vanessa. So when I, whoops, to do a normal card base, I just score my cardstock right down the middle. I use centimetres when I'm doing cards but you'll notice when I'm doing 3D things I use inches because <laughs> I'm crazy. I kind of I grew up I went to school and it was inches and then it changed to centimetres and things so I can kind of do both. But I do centimetres for cards because I can read the centimetres on here easier and then I do inches for 3D things because my scoreboard, I can read the inches better on it. Hi Shirley, in you come. Right, so, and if you guys are about tomorrow at 11, 
if you want to go to Shirley's handmade by Shirley page she does cup and cards now on a Friday morning we were clashing on a Thursday morning Shirley's one of my team ladies so she has actually changed hers so there you go look I can just mount that up on here which I will do and it's done you can fancy it up if you want to, but you don't have to. It's beautiful how it is. Now, I, yeah, I was looking for my glue right beside me. And what I've done, if you're not sure what I'm doing here, is I've put a dampened piece of cotton wool in the bottom of this jar. And so I keep my glue like that while I'm, work, while I'm working. And that way it's, it usually just flows. Yeah, look, flows right away. And I'm going to tell you that has actually been sitting overnight like that. If I would remember to do that, we'd be all right. So this one, that's what I'm just doing. Just put it straight on the card. Done dusted. Beautiful on it. You could, I mean, you can start colouring in, but it's another wee thing that you can do. If you can find what you're looking for, as you're looking at me. It's my best pal, Wink of Stella. So you can't, if you if you watch what happens here with Wink of Stella on our, our rinks are water based. So I'm just giving it a shake. See this wee flower here, I'm just going to pick it out. If I go over that flower, just just be circular motions. It picks up the ink and the ink reacts with the wink of Stella. And you just spread in the pink just a bit more. So it's all it's sparkling it up, but it's spreading the pink as well a bit. But it doesn't take the definition away of your stamping. So do you know I could do that on a few a few flowers and just change the look a bit yeah so you obviously you could take time and pick out you don't have to do all the flowers just pick out a few you can do that equally you can take your alcohol marker let me see if I can bring in mango, Mel I've got mango melody yeah, because we're using mango melody and the colours today as well and bring them out you could then, because this is alcohol, it doesn't react with the water. So then you might want to just colour up one of your flowers or, you know, choose some to colour. So you might want to make these ones like yellow daisies. So there's lots you can do with this, just a simply stamped card but I, I mean to be honest I was happy with it as it was I thought it was beautiful as it was but I'm just letting you see other things that you can do if you choose to it's hard to decide sometimes whether less is more or more is more What a pretty stamp set this is, isn't it? It makes me think of wild... Oh hi Margaret, in you come. It makes me think of like wildflower meadows. I was out for a walk last night in a local park um, and they've got lots of strips around that I've been left. I probably will put them on my personal Facebook later on today. Um, poppies and cornflower and there's yellow daisies like this and it's just gorgeous it just make me so happy so yeah there you go you, you even just like that it's fine but you can pick out the colors so let's do some let's move on and do something to bring in our paper as well hi Christine 5 30 in the a.m. in the morning Christine that's not even a time Goodness me, you guys get up early. Do you go to bed early? Or are you just like me? You've got to that age where sleep's sometimes a bit elusive. 
right and we'll pop that one aside but even do you know even just bringing that wee bit of colouring into it changes it so let's go we'll stick with the melon mambo again and we'll take it a wee bit different but we'll same idea but we'll um we'll make it so that we're going to put use our paper so what i'm going to do is cut this down to a different so let's take it down to at the moment it's 9.7 let's take it down to say 7.7 .7. By 12. We're going to stick with the same sort of idea, but we'll add paper in the background this time. So I'm taking two centimetres off each part, so we've got this little bit. Oh, you just couldn't sleep, Christina. Well, you might, if you get a cup and come and join us, we'll help you come to. So again, just the same composition, just put your thank you in the middle and take your, the big stamp again. Don't put your finger on when you've got ink like I have, but because I'm going to stamp around that, it's not going to be noticed. So again, just going to take my stamp around my thank you. Coming in from the four corners. And you could vary it, you could bring you don't have to put it right in the middle, you could bring it down, you could actually have it over to the side. Just vary it as the mood takes you. The biggest thing is get yourself a stamp set, some ink and some card, and play. Because until you play, you don't know what you like. And at the end of the day, that's what it's all about. It's about pleasing yourself, what makes you happy. That's fine like that, but let's see the difference that any wee bit of overlap would make here. It's absolutely fab, just looks busier. There you go. What's wrong with that? Can you see anything wrong with that? So this time, that's our stamp and I've shown you how to colour in. Um, <laughs> so now we'll oh coffee that's good right so a melon mambo base again so obviously even at that do you know what this card is so beautiful the colours are so beautiful there isn't anything wrong with that but I want to show you adding in some of the lovely papers and I'm going to go for that one with the watercolour look wash and it's bright but it's gorgeous so trimmer where did I put my trimmer so I've got the trimmer and I'll chop it down da -da -da -da. So I know to put the layer on my card base, it's 10.1. These bits will all get used for something. Th this paper is beautiful. And then I want that by 14.4. I actually want more melon mambo in here, so I'm going to go. I don't know if I'll show, but. In one of my class pro my project box thing, I use Calypso Coral with this paper and it's beautiful as well. So that's the layer that will go on the card. And then I'm going to put a, a layer of card behind this and just show you how it changes it. So I need some melon mango. So can you remember my measurements there? It's 
spilt weight there. With my jar weight on the bottom. Oh dear me. Right, so I, I know I've got loads of scraps, but I've just... So that was 12. So I want 12.4. Surely, you, as a demonstrator, you can order up the small trimmer. You can order that today. And then the other measurement was 7.7, .7, wasn't it? So I want that to be 8.1. So it's stay, staying in proportion with my card. You see? So again, I'll just get my wet glue. Layer that onto there. And then we'll layer this onto the card. Look at the green there, Granny Apple Green too. You could use that and stamp with your Granny Apple Green. That is gorgeous. Like a watercolour wash. And then of course you could be inspired by the paper and go and do your own watercolour wash with our inks. That's another fun thing to do. Once you get a few inks and a couple of stamp sets and some card, the possibilities are endless and I seriously spend hours here it's just it's just by keeping the, the cotton wool is damp so the because the end of the glue bottle is in the damp cotton wool it doesn't clog up that's all and because I've got it upside down the glue but it doesn't come out it's fine I don't lose glue and then I think we'll use some dimensionals and I've got some lying here so let's use them up look I've this long strip here don't waste on your dimensionals use up what you've got use up all the edges just put there let's just take all the edge off here and we'll Look, <laughs> I just don't even need to cut that bit, do I? Just stick it on there and then that will support that on here. And then just, just hover it over till you feel that you've got it straight and there you go so we, you know we're using the same basically the same composition but just moving it up a notch then you could add some let's see we have some bling we have it all we have it all but from this set that I'm particularly fond of if I can find them all we have these gorgeous, gorgeous sequins. They're all cut up because I was sending out shares of these to the ladies who bought the kit. So I've got, I got the leftovers. But look, these, does that not go with our colourway? There's, there's, these ones, look, I would say that's like um, so saffron there, but it, do you know, it would tone very well with the Oh goodness, the mango melody, and then these are iridescent the ones as well. They're just gorgeous, and they're they're sticky backed, so they come with this sweet. I mean, a good thing to do is, and and you can do uh, with the stamp. If you look in the Stampin' Up catalogue, if you look at the whole suite and you actually like everything 
in it, they make it really easy for you because they give you an order number for each item separately, but there's also an order number to have everything that's in the suite together. So I don't know if I have got a catalogue. Do you know, I keep moving things. Let's see, if I had a catalogue, I could show you. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. There's the Artistry Bloom sequins, and it, the good thing is it tells me there what page the whole suite's on. So page I love this annual catalogue and also the Christmas ones out. If you want a copy of our, well not Christmas, our autumn winter mini catalogue, just give me a shout and I'll get it out to you. So look there, look. So in the suite, you've got the stamp set, which we're using today, the designer series paper we're using today, the gorgeous glimmer paper. Watch this. Where is that? I don't have a lot left because I've been using it. But look at this. Again, the colours all coordinating through this gorgeous, gorgeous glimmer paper. Now, unlike some other glimmer and glitter papers that you can buy elsewhere, this does not shed. It is absolutely gorgeous. You can chop it up, sparkles, and look at the whole spectrum of colours that are in this suite. You can cut out, you can die cut, you could, I mean, again, we could just use it as the backing on a card. It's simply gorgeous. I'm not using it to decant. I don't know, I just don't want to keep, I want to keep it as simple as possible. And then these sequins that I'm showing you. So we, so you can then, if you just go to this page here, 130, if you like the whole lot, there's an order number there to get the four items all together. And then, but if you go at the bottom here, it gives you the item number for each and the prices for each thing singly. So if you don't want the whole lot. Now the dies cut out this bouquet here. But it also, they also will cut out these little individual stamp flowers that we have too. So then you could make, like this one, look what they've done. They've stamped the bouquet and then they've taken these the individual flower stamps and die cut them out. And then layered them on with dimensionals. And then if you've got the banner where you've got, you can use the curved sentiments fit on the banners on the big die. So you could go on and on forever with this suite and keep you busy and there you go see how clever it tells you most of the colours that are in this as well so nice and bright happy colours okay see you later Shirley take care so will we do some we'll pop a couple of these on and then we'll would you like, will we do something with the, the greens and blues in this suite, I think? Do you, does anybody know where I've put my pokey to? Right, I don't know if this will work with the, I don't know which one I'm going to use. These ones, I think. So I could use those ones and pick out that colour, but I'm going to just go for that. Because they've got the sticky on, they don't want to work with the putty. But it's so handy because, we, you know, they have got the colour in. Secret with them, um, these sort of embellishment -y accents is kind of think of a triangle that's going to draw your eye across the picture. So there you go. The other way to decide where to put your embellishments that not everyone will tell you is we use them to cover any mistakes, <laughs> so no one knows. So if you do a blobby bit or something, then you can use that. You sleep well, Vanessa. I'm sure we'll see you later tomorrow when you get up. It'll still be today for us, but when you get up, we'll see you tomorrow. Sleep well. Right, so what about some blues? Will we have a go at blues? We've got a wee file left. I seem to be working fast today. So I'm going to get another bit of my paper and I'm going to get my beloved Knight of Navy. 
Oh, I absolutely adore this colour. Although I'm becoming rather fond of Misty Moonlight as well. I feel like I've been using the new in colours today. Not really, but I have used them a lot. And I've got I have got a project. I've got a a blog hop coming up soon that is about the in colours as well. And a video hop which is about the in colours, so you will be seeing more of them. So let's go back to my I'm going to bring in the little stamps this time and see how we go with this. Now, again, I am short of thank you cards, so I'm not going to apologise for keeping using. These, this is just such a nice, simple set for sentiments. It's got three sort of specialised sentiments here, which fit on the banner that goes over the bokeh when you cut out the die which is good because then you can just cut out the wee bits to, and these can fit in and I will show you that on another day but um, in fact do I have it done? If you just hang on I'll bring your project in where I've done that. This is a little bit squash, but it shows you what you can do with the dye. And then I cut it out in a, a co the coordinating colour. I used the Calypso Coral. No, yeah, I have the Calypso, Calypso Coral. Um, and stamped the sentiment there going across. This is a box that I designed that can take cards. So it would become a nice gift. Now, this was one of the projects in this month's project kit class in a box call it what you will that I've sent out so I'll give you an idea that and this is another one that was in that so at the ladies when they buy this they get the stamp set and they get all the card and papers so they can make up to each of each project that's in it so um, this was one of the other ones and you see I'm, I've white embossed on the dark paper and then use some of the sequins yeah S sequins and other embellishments are great for covering smudges totally agree with you and this beautiful ribbon i can't remember which sweet that's with but it's beautiful to this navy but anyway that was just to let you see this is these are the other two projects that are in this month's kit that is winging its way so that one using the bouquet and using a ribbon over my join and my stamping again i used the our shimmer paper for that and then this one simple stamping but I did this with black memento using this this simple stamping that I've just showed you with the colours so yeah that's what the ladies got um, all the stuff to make that they got the stamp set half a half share of the the sequins ha a quarter a pack of the paper her. they got half a sheet of glimmer paper I think unless they didn't buy if they didn't buy the die set option I cut them out for them but yeah fun so anyway that's enough of the plug for my project kits watch out for next month's you might want to buy that take care Sylvia sleep well sleep well okay so <laughs> stop blathering Janice and get on with crafting right so blue this time Oh, I've already got card. Right. That side. So this time I'm going to use my Knight of Navy and just, just stamp in with one colour. If you've got more than one colour, there's nothing to see. You have to stamp. Now, this time we're going to... Again, I'll stick with landscape. So I'm just going to put my thank you here. And there's going to be a bit more stamping because of having these now the only thing I would say is there are no leaves with this set but well let's just stick with just flowers so again I'm just going to do some stamping around what I'm going to look at is I'm just going to do a kind of sweep I'm going to leave all this right up here so I'm going to fill up the 
And again, I'm not concerned about overlap. Take these ones, take the next size. Kind of doing them in groups of three, just works in my head. And then we'll just add some little ones here. Fill in the gaps a bit. You just got all these flowers coming in. And honestly, that's really enough. You take that and take a right of navy base, I think. Here. Put that to the side, because do you know what will happen? Trimmer. Decided not to have all this prep today just so that people can see the process of getting card bases and show you that I do mine all from scratch. I don't buy in card bases, just cut them. Although Stampin' Up! do have some lovely notelet sets and things that you can use which are good to start off with. If you don't have a trimmer then they'd be quite useful. Okay, so, oops. A bit of paper in the wrong place there, right? So, again, that is a nice simple card, just like that. But what I quite like to do is to accentuate the Knight of Navy here, is just to give it a bit of a border. I just all the way around, just tap it in. Tap it in your ink, don't drag it through because you can rip your stamp pad. I'll close this just now. That just defines the just a little bit. Then we can stick that on. No, I think that's, obviously if you were in the mood for cut, oh, I'm going to put that on the other side, I've got an uneven lip there. My folding wasn't as good as it could be, but let's just pop that there. Whoops. Again, I'm using the wet glue because it just gives me that moment to get it lined up. Now that, I mean, that is nice and simple. You could have put, you know, you could always put another wee bit just in the corner there. But what I thought was, just to stick with the blue and to bring in just three of these. Where did I put my pokey tool when I stopped? Right, after the last card, when I put the dimensionals on, what did I do with it? Did anybody see me? Here it is. Back where it should be. Just couldn't see it for looking at it. I'd quite like to just take three of these bigger ones and pop them there. And there you have a simple card. Okay. And we've just used those little flower stamps and they're so pretty so pretty 
Yeah, it would make a nice sympathy card. Absolutely. So let's do another one. This time we'll bring in the blues, the papers with the blues. So we can bring in this and do it the other direction maybe this time. So we'll go at 10.1. on my car. Let's be able to use this other card base that I've cut. Um, and I think you'll see that keeping it simple gives you quite sophisticated cards sometimes. You don't have to go all out on the fancy fancy. Of course you can line your card inside as well and add a bit of stamping. Just making sure that's stuck down okay. So that's three cards without any huge effort. We need another piece on this card as I say. So I think this time what we'll do is we'll stamp a Knight of Navy and we'll get our blends and we'll bring in a bit of Granny Apple Green. Where are my Granny Apple Green? There we are. Dark and light. I'm just looking at the colours in here and do I have Coastal Cabana? I don't think I have Coastal Cabana um, markers, do I? But I've got, I should have Bermuda Bay ones, which is close. So just slightly Bermuda Bay. We'll just add little bits of that in there and we'll go back to cut this down. taking two centimetres off all the way round just for ease. In fact, you know, we'll to make it smaller so that you can see more of this paper. Let's see. There, we could get away with making it smaller so we could go. Let's go to 6.7. So we'll take three centimetres off all the way round. Why not? So that needs to be 11. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Let's see if I've done this. Thankfully, I've got more card. I don't think I've done that right, have I? Yeah, I have. It's in proportion. Right, so let, while my numbers are in my head, let's get some. Knight of Navy. Right, I don't have any more Knight of Navy card out. But I do have this paper. I mean, obviously I've got hundreds more Knight of Navy, but this paper's to hand. So let's use the dark end of that. And we, what did I cut that to 11? So cut this to 11.4. As I say, this will all get used up for other things. And then this was, my brain's not really in gear today. Yeah, 6.7, so it wants to be 7.1. So this will do the same job because it's dark and it's night of navy, so again, coordinates perfectly there, doesn't it? 
So there you go. So again, where's my thank you and my night of navy? This time I'm gonna pop keep my actually I'm gonna take keep my no, no I'm not. I'll decide where I'm gonna put it. We'll put it up here. And then we'll use the big stamp and I think I should clean the ink off it. <gasps> Did you see that? Don't do what I do. I do your desk, but I've had to fit. Oh, hi, Shillery. Hi, Hillary. <laughs> yeah, you are a wee bit late, but not to worry. You're very welcome. You're very welcome. We're just finishing up, and I will be showing you. I'm just on my last card, but I will be showing you what we've made. We're keeping it simple with the artistry blooms suite today, but mostly just using the stamp set and some of the papers. So I've inked up this big stamp and I'm going to put most of the image here and I'm going to leave it at that to be honest with you. Simples. No, I'm not. Change my mind. I'm going to add a bit in here. I think it's just because that looks a bit squared. I just think it'll just want this lower down though. And then a tiny bit in here. That'll be fine. There we go. I'm not going to add any more, but you can. You can play about to get any effect that you want. Let's pop them over there. They'll be cleaned in a wee while. So, like, I, look at this. Like I said, I thought we would bring in a bit more colour in here, and we can use our blends on top of our, our ink. This ink is water based. These blends are alcohol based, so they will be okay. So, I'm not going to do a lot, but just again, just to show you what you can do. So, just pop some green on some of these leaves. just gently just whipping it in there just to see what it would look like with a bit of colour. Now you can take the trouble to go over the whole thing in colour. I'm just popping in a bit just to let you see, you know, if you can be bothered to colour. If you're in the mood, sometimes you're in the mood to just sit in colour. So restful, put a bit of gentle music or a audible story or something like that in the background. Put a bit more of these leaves here. Again I'm not totally colour, I'm just adding a wee stroke of colour. You don't have to, you're just giving the suggestion. It doesn't even have to be exactly in the lines or anything like that. And then take some of the Bermuda Bay because do you know blue flowers are nice too and just choose what you're going to so just choose a colour I'm just using the lighter Bermuda Bay I'm not actually doing this as a colouring exercise I'm just doing it to let you see what adding a bit of colour to these stamps would give you does give you that wildflower meadow look, doesn't it? Then, as I'm sticking to colours that tone, but you don't have to. I mean, you, in the wild, the colours are just all mixed, you know. So again, look over these daisies, make them a bit yellow. Now look, I'm not going in the lines or anything, I'm just...
just kind of decide what colours go what flowers go on. And then what you could do is you could go completely off it and you could pull in a colour and give it a pop and let's just see. What about pulling in out of the blue? It's got nothing to do with our paper or anything. But because I'm remembering the meadow I was walking in last night, I didn't know. Eh? Here's another one of these ones. What about, I'm going to take the dark poppy red and I'm just going to go for it. And add a bit of poppy here. I'm just adding some dark very quickly to these big poppies. The dark poppy red. And then just quickly go over with the lighter one and blend the two colours together. Does that not make you think of beautiful flower meadows? Summer evening walks. I'm not going to add any more there just now. I'm just going to quickly pop. So if you think that I was making that up as I went along, well actually that is exactly what I was doing. As I say, I just gathered a stamp set and some colours. I decided that we were going to keep it simple. Certainly that was a, that amount of planning was in it. And again, if you're going to be posting that, you can just pop that on flat. Or you can then put it on dimensionals if you remember where you put them. It's basically five's fine here, do you know? one at each towards each corner and then I always put one in the middle and then if this is going through the post it's not going to collapse in on itself oops pardon me I don't know if that's straight but it's straight enough but you can take your time I just did that to show you. I like the f just bringing in a pop of a very different colour. Should I put a warm colour in here? Because basically these were all cold colours. There you go. So this is where we started. Take the extras out and we'll just have a wee look at our cards. Do you know what? I'd, I've had fun. I'm just going to take this out my way because it is in my way. <laughs> now I'm hoping, hoping to get on YouTube later today, um, and I've got two different projects. One I might show. I'm not decided which one I'll do today. Um, anyway, so we started off with our very simple stamping with melon mambo, and the. Um, we added in a bit of mango melody again you could keep going with that and add in more colours if you want or not at all again we showed we had a wee look at what Wink of Stella might do here as well and it, it's hard to see but it you'll see it glimmers in the light so it is worth adding some bits of that then we decided we wanted to share this gorgeous um, paper that's in this suite and some of the sequins. So again, we used the same composition, brought it in tighter. We did a lot more overlap, which darkens the color of the border, but it doesn't detract from it. It's so beautiful. These are hand drawn by Stampin' Up! artists and then made into stamps. They're just beautiful. They've done all the hard work. Then we went for Night of Navy and we used the other flower stamps so they didn't feel left out. So again, you could do loads with them and again, you can do your colouring in if you want. And then this one, which I'm actually is my favourite. And I think I like the, the pop of the um, poppy parade in there too. Uh, yep, 
I'm happy, I'm relaxed, I've shared with you, I hope I've inspired you. I would love you to come back in to my Jazzle Dazzle and Friends craft share group and show me anything that you've made. Any, you can share any crafts at all there, but I'd particularly like to see what you do after you've watched these videos to see if they inspire you to do other things. So thanks my friends, thanks for coming in and sharing with me. And anyone who watches later on the replay, please leave comments and please let me know what you think too. It's been lovely chatting with you folks. That's that's us right on 12 noon here in the UK. So I'm going to go off and do some domestic chores, have some lunch. And I'm coming back to my craft desk this afternoon to play and I may well share on YouTube with you all. So thanks Andrea, love you. I'm glad you've been joining and I'll put them around that way, it's easier. And like I say, there's quite a few friends who've been popping in here live and after the event and they appear to be enjoying it. And I can't wait to be craft with you all face to face. But not to worry, those who are not in this country or not close to me, I still will be doing this live online stuff because I'm loving it too. Anywho, I'm going to stop blethering. I'm going to go and get another cup of coffee and get on with some chores. Bye bye everyone. I will see you all soon. Thank you so much. But then I never know how to get out of here. Finish, is it?